A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed. It was wonderful. I believe I'm ri- That was quite something. 
A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. It was wonderful. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eliasar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. 
Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Oh my god, I just wanted to say that this game looks amazing, even though, as you see in the beginning of the video, has like low quality settings and it still looks amazing, just amazing. Traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think. The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path 
however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand was improving with every car. Thank you, sir. We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! I just love the wizard moment. I saw this in the cinematic trailer where the Professor Fick used his reparo spell and it is one more breathtaking from my side. It just integrates right oh, away in the magical world. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why would someone... That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a You have to uh, excuse me for the hold up, I just wanted to make sure that I had the right settings for my microphone because I got tired from switching between different um, different menus so I can talk on certain spots. But yeah, thank you. I want to add also that I'm sorry if I'm taking too long, I just want to take full uh, overview and check the whole surrounding environment because it's just really beautiful and breathtaking and furthermore I do love seeking different hidden items and so on so yeah what's this professor fake someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room I don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container what in Merlin's name got 
Cedric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> then stay close <whistles> after you and keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. I do not like that goblin. There was something about him. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. 
Thank you for your help. I just love those random chests that are posted uh, around the blind world. I just love it. I like finding such chests and such secrets and opening them up or uh, solving them. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, that was close. That was close. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. This place looks what like quite mysterious. I just I am surprised. I really am. I feel like I am in the real wizarding world. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Yeah, here is the part where uh, we start uh, understanding that the player, well, us, uh, see things that... There must that, be something to that reflection you're seeing. Uh, see things that others cannot see, and I just love that. It seems so magical and so par like part of the world itself in Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. Try casting Revelio, perhaps. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, 
Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Can I just say that I'm so grateful that they did the action bars for the PC like that? I was hoping to be something like that. So I'm quite happy with it. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Protego! Revelio! Lumos! I'm not a huge, uh, such a huge fan of, of that that we can cast only one spell with our wand because, for example, when I use Revelio and Lumos. my Lumos it just disappears, I would have preferred much more if they were together or something. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio.
Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I am a bit worried because I was getting used to the combat system, you know, it's a bit of challenge. And I'm worried if I will survive if there is more battles because I have zero potions now. Oh, I'm so in big troubles. Revelio. And I believe that this is the sign for the ancient magic. It's just so beautiful and so creative, really amazing. Did it just turn in the door? What? Are you serious? That's amazing and so creative. Lumos. Revelio. You see why like, uh, there is no ref uh, reflection or something like a window from behind, but when you go to the forward, to the front, so to speak, you can see where you go. And then the whole window changes depending on where you walk. This takes so much technology to make it. I'm just amazed. Revelio.
There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We all know that music. Yeah, it's Hogwarts. Hogwarts need of course. It's time for our legacy to begin. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. No expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mmm. You're clever indeed. 
You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Hell yeah, this is my house. It's Ravenclaw. Known for its intelligence, creativity and wit. Yeah, that is definitely my house right there. You belong in Ravenclaw! Oh yeah, Ravenclaw! Thank you, thank you, it's great meeting you, thank oh, you. and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Ah, oh, come on. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, you said it. We heard you. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Let's see if we're going to be able to solve this riddle. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done, me. <laughs> well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Thank you. That was that sounded ominous, but thank you. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. Oops, it wasn't me. Don't mind me. Okay, this bed looks awesome. Can I sleep here? Please say yes. Revelio. Wait, there is only four beds here. Why?
it still feels like uh, you know those type of old houses. It's like welcoming, but also a bit weird. And this mirror haven't seen cleaning for decades, maybe even centuries. Revelio. Don't mind me, I'm just passing by. Revelio. Yeah, I don't think that Ravenclaw knows like what it means to clean mirrors. It seems, yeah. Can I drink water? Come on. I want to drink water. Revelio. There is something down there, but I have no idea how to get it. Maybe through the stairs that go further down. We'll check it in a bit. Okay, okay, this place is fully functional. <laughs> Let's move on. Whoa, level 3? I don't even have level 1, what the fuck? Rebellion. Interesting. There is something behind this wall, but I cannot access it yet. Just have to wait for the right moment. Revelio. I suppose some introductions are in order. Isn't this supposed to open on its own? Strange. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Uh, what is this? Someone threw a dumb bomb. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? 
I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Yeah, basically I'm looking forward for my first day in Hogwarts, so yeah, the first one seems like more like how I feel right now. And I bet how you all feel out there as well. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait. Did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha! <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Wonder why he's pushing their nerves. <laughs> I can hear you. I'm right here, Miss Whoever you are. You seem like a Weasley, by the way. I just now noticed the red hair. Mm, that's not right either. That was a nice breakfast. An apple. More fruits, please. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Yeah, he seems like a pretty knowledgeable type of guy. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Yeah, this is like a really good question. Usually the Hufflepuffs are the ones that like plants, animals and so on. So let's hear what she would uh, tell us about it. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Nice. This is like smart nice. Nice nice. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh yes. In fact, our herbology teacher Professor Garlic encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Okay, interesting. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. One more apple. We need to have a breakfast after all. We need to be full. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. This guy seems a bit worried. Hey, dude. What's going on? Yeah, I don't think you want to talk with me. Deep breath. Nice. Why, hello. 
Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I totally agree with you. I feel like when you are in the sky and you're free, like flying and so on, you're like totally free and nothing can stop you or block you or anything like that. So yeah, I do get him. And it's so, so natural for Revan quote to feel like that. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Okay, he's nice. I like him. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. I will get to her. Don't pressure me. A new fifth year. Wonder where they're from. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. I'm right here, guys. You can ask, you know. I have to say that I love this place. It feels so calming, so refreshing. Like you're in a place where you can read in peace and no one will bother you. Exactly the like of places I like. Maybe that's why I'm Ravenclaw. Wasn't this the game uh, Gobberstones or something like that? Once my sister sent me a howl at Christmas because I thought one of her scars to school with me. She never even wears it. Revelio. I can't wait till all my sisters are at Hogwarts with me. Their turn to send the owls home. My family's owl is getting too old. Half of the letters end up in the local pond. I nice. I wish I could play on the piano myself. Or at least my character would have been so much better. I can't imagine receiving a house, especially in front of the whole school during a feast. Okay, Clamby here is a bit odd. I mean, couldn't they do it better or something? Yeah, level 1 walk. Hopefully I will pick it soon. Stay quiet for a few moments so I can listen to the song of the piano, please. Dang. Some of us are tidy 
Oh wait, there is several type of songs. I just click F again so I can turn it off but instead it changed the song. That is so nice. Isn't that memorable or something like that? It was that type of uh, ball, crystal ball, where when you know, where when you touch it and it uh, fills with different type of uh, smoke, depending uh, of uh, what is happening in your mind. For example, if you forgot something, it goes red, and then I believe it had well as well as a warning or something. And that is the whole glass that keeps up with the conversation. And if the conversation is interesting, it goes, I believe, faster or more like normal. But if it's slow, I believe it was going, uh, it was going slow itself or something like that. So many bits of force here, I just cannot believe it. They toughed almost of everything, if not ever for everything. Okay, I cannot open the wardrobes for some reason. Perhaps I can open my own, hopefully. Or this might be, you know, not the memorable, but uh, the co-op where you can see the future and visions and stuff like that. I believe they studied it in uh, in one of the classes in Harry Potter movies. I forgot about the name of it. Let's go and meet Professor Weasley. Oh wait, it's below. Okay, my bad. And this, I think, is uh, the person, the female, the Ravenclaw, that uh, was the creator of this house or something like that. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource.
Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about... Rebellion! The And this was definitely I one of the days. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Uh, we definitely waited quite a bit for our first day in Hogwarts. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust? Revelio. See what details the field guide can provide. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside the castle. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Dang, too bad I cannot explore yet. Revelio. I wonder what kind of puzzle is this one. It seems complicated. opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall
okay. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I don't know about that. that should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revelio. Rebellion. 
I can hear that chimp, but I cannot find it. Lumos. I guess those are not open yet for us. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the Headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Revelio. Nice to see you, my young friend. So the first class that I'm looking forward is the charm class because we can learn so many spells, interesting spells in there. And then as my second most looking forward class is the defense against the dark cards. So let's start with the first one, the charm class. Revelio.
Lumos. Okay, this one is working. Let's see where the where is this? Maybe somewhere below. Do you think I'm impressed? I don't care how many chops it took, please leave me in peace. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Yeah, I don't think that it's down here. I need to recheck it. like an art or something like that so let's look for that specific art that is the face I think And here we are petting the cat, of course. Oh. I wish there was like some kind of charm that I can cast so I can fable. Some kind of bat and seek, and that will lead me to the to the place that is shown in the in the picture. But yeah. You think Gareth would be better at transliteration, considering his aunt teaches the thing? If I do that, stop that. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue pants. My brother caused a lot of trouble in Professor Lee's book.
Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. I honestly have no idea where to look for that. There's like a window as well or something like that. And that is annoying. Like there should be some kind of, you know, guide where to go. Nope, and nope, and nope. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Okay, let's just go to the quads. Probably, I'll just keep an eye for the, the spot I saw in uh, the picture. And yeah, depending on that, if I see it, I'll just go for it. But I couldn't find it in this place. Another adventure, are we? Revelio.
Professor Ronan passages, tends to go on a bit. To we sometimes have to remind him to, to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to go back to the lesson. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio! Now, uh, think of this like... Splendid! Stay focused! Dang! I did so bad. Hell yeah! 100 points! Very good! Points to Ravenclaw! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. 
Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! There we go. Akio! Dang! That is how it's done. Excellent. Watch this. Well done. Just with ten more points more than me. Dang it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. There we go. Akio. Not to worry. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Now, Wagadu is one of my favorites wizarding and uh, witches school. First, because it's like African and has this mystery surrounding it with uh, the mist covering it and the way the students are invited like through their dreams. And on top of that, the African witches and wizards are uh, more like 
concentrated upon uh, transforming and uh, elemental and weather magic, which is exactly in my card. I honestly cannot wait to find out more about Ugadu or like half a game that is created in that academy. Uh, regretfully, JK Rowling didn't write much about it, but it's definitely one of the most interesting schools that I've, you know, read about. And closely after the Wagadu school, it comes the one that is uh, in China. I believe it was uh, with their robes turning, the, uh, turning their colors different depending on uh, if um, they were a good or a bad witch and so on. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh yeah, Wagadu, uh, which is in wizards cast spells without a wand. I think it's one of the only wandless skills. And that's another thing that really like um, awakes that huge interest in that school. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh yes, I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive, not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic it's nice to learn about another wizarding school thank you for asking i do miss wagadu but i am glad to be here at hogwarts ah i think professor ronan wants to talk to you better not keep him waiting until next time of course you can use Akio on humans if you're so inclined professor ronan well. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Rebellion. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Hello. How 
How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Revelio. You're suspicious right there. Why are you? Where are you eavesdropping on our conversation, girl? Resource indeed, your field guide. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the, it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> I really need to check how you can solve this puzzle right here. Hold on a minute. Okay, so let's try uh, 3 plus 0 
equals three, I think. And then water cells. So then we have 5 minus 3, I believe, and that would be 2. So the, the, the third one over there, because it starts from 0, from what I, from what I heard. Yeah, this one. I think this is a, this is a grab horn, but I'm not 100% sure that... And then we have 4 plus 1 makes 5, and 12 uh, minus 5 is 7, right? And then one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever that is. Oh yeah, thank the internet for helping me out, specifically iGen. Revelio. And I will believe I will stop here uh, because it was more than enough uh, to learn and get the first feeling of the game. I will probably uh, play more of the game and upload part by part uh, my expectations and my experience with the game. And I will add more voice over this video and uh, afford it so you can see it.